Hi everyone, it is part two of my pumpkin patch reverse canvas sign for fall. Hello, it's still Friday, August the 5th, 2022. I am so uh, happy to be here with you. Uh, I had, uh, I was on my segment of Craft Around the Clock earlier, and so I knew that with my craft that I had planned, that I wasn't going to get it finished in the time slot because as a craft uh, craft around the clock hostess uh, we have 45 minutes to do our craft hello everyone uh, and so I had shared with my community that I would come back and finish this craft with you all so I'm so glad to be here and then when I was gonna try to go live FB was not being my friend <laughs> and so you know that's just kind of par for the course when you're doing a live video so guys this is part two of my craft and chat session uh, with Tracy and those are when I craft live with you in real time uh, and so I'll kind of work through any uh, issues that I have as far as if I make a mistake because I do <laughs> I make them often a lot and so uh, I will show you what I do to correct it and that kind of thing so I greatly appreciate you all being here uh, if you're watching on the replay if you're watching on later on YouTube I so appreciate you all I get the sweetest comments the sweetest messages from people that say that they really enjoy these because they're either stuck inside uh, homebound or you know it just really brings them joy and so then that in turn brings joy to me and that's what it's all about the Lord has given me these gifts and talents he's given me the ability to be able to be a full-time crafter I retired from my job uh, last summer uh, one year ago it's just hard to believe that I have been retired from my day job of 32 and a half years I was state of uh, state of Texas employee and so uh, you know started there when I was 21 and so <laughs> I'm um, honored to be able to do this with you all right so as I mentioned I was on my craft around the clock segment earlier and so what I started this this is uh, my canvas that I'm working with. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Terry. Hi, Erin. Again, Maureen. Thank y'all so much for being here. Okay, so I started with this canvas is a 12 by 16, a 12 by 16 canvas that I had on hand. And so what I did is um, I just put some scrapbook paper in the back. I just pieced it together because uh, the scrapbook paper is 12 by 12 and I needed a, a second sheet in order to, you know, get the entire coverage. So I just pieced it together uh, like that. If you want to see any more specifics, you can watch part one because I go through the whole entire thing and go through when I, you know, messed up and glued this and I shouldn't have and how I fixed it. But it's all in how we go through and how we, you know, finish okay so um during the little break what I did is I just took my antique wax in a baby wipe and just added just a little color to the uh, canvas the sides and the back I didn't want anything really really solid because I'm just doing this for myself guys and so um, I've already painted my pumpkins in part one and so yeah aren't they cute and <laughs> they're not perfect don't look too close because they're not perfect nothing of mine is perfect so what I did guys is I used I recycled a uh, Lucky Charms box yes that's what I what I did because um, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do for my craft around the clock segment and my woodcutter wasn't here my woodcutter is my amazing husband <laughs> I just never really learned how to use the band saw and the scroll saw the scroll saw I do not like because I it I do not have the patience for a scroll saw but my husband has the patience of a saint I always tell him that and he would he's my woodcutter so if I would have already pre you know I don't pre-plan um, I would have had him cut out um, a wood pumpkin and did it but I wanted to show you if you don't have um, a wood cutter or if you don't even like wood you can make it out of recycled cardboard yeah you can make little pumpkins like this that's what I did okay so in part one um, which is on my page and also on my YouTube um, I showed how I painted these all right so um, for the frame what I used uh, which I'm calling the frame is I it's a 12 by 16 canvas but what I did for the uh, for the frame is I just cut craft sticks I got a package of these from 
Walmart. And so then I just cut them down to look, you know, wonky. I didn't want anything really perfect. I used my antique wax to give some color and I just used a baby wipe. I got, I picked up that tip from Junk to Jewels many years ago. So if y'all watch Junk to Jewels, Katie, that is where I saw it. Uh, and I thought it was genius. And so I've been using her technique or whoever's technique, wherever she got it from, I've been using that ever since. Okay. All right. So um, now here in part two, I am just going to finish it up. What I want to share with you is, um, see here on the sides of the craft sticks, I have, it's a little bit darker. Well, I get that by using my antique wax, not antique wax. <laughs> I got antique wax on the brain. Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Hello. Thank y'all so much for being here again. I appreciate y'all so much. Okay. So um, what I did is uh, I am just going to finish this up and show y'all how cute this is going to be. Um, I do recommend that if you're going want to, you know, sell something like this, uh, you know, maybe if you want to get it cut out of wood <laughs> or, you know, something else like like that but I am just using what I had on hand because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do for my craft around the clock segment and so now what I'm doing is I am just taking my finger dauber and my vintage photo ink and just giving it a little bit of darkening on the edges and just so it's a little bit more distressed and a little bit more defined and so that is how that looks like that. Hello. Hi, Miss Penny. Hi, Shelly, Jerry, and Pam, Terry. Oh, Terry, you're sweet. You're sweet. Um, okay. So then now, uh, and then also what I pulled out are for dimension because, you know, I want something for my pumpkins to kind of hold on to. I pulled out some of these larger tumbling tower blocks that I picked up from my local Five Below store. They have these, uh, uh, this pack right here. It's 48 in there for $5. Uh, so if you don't have a t um, Five Below store that you can grab some of these, you can use other tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree or something else to give dimension. I just like dimension. So I just wanted to share that. All right, so let's finish up our pumpkins here. So what I did is I painted them. Um, okay, so first what I did is I just drew out a pattern and I all, I show all of this in the part one. So if you wanna see how I did the actual pumpkins, how I tore them, how I made the pattern, how I tore them, how I got this shape, you can go back and watch part one. All right, so, and then what I did is I added my black shading, um, for the uh, pumpkins just to give it some definition so then now we're going to finish them all right so um what i want to do is get some just some buttermilk paint oh here right in front of me i'm like where's my paint <laughs> my paint plate <clears throat> my paint plate and i'm just using uh, uh, americana it's just a ivory it's, this one is called buttermilk i'm just using that and uh first before i do that i want to give some definition with my black sharpie marker because that's what i love to do i love to doodle and just give some definition like this So thanks for hanging out with me on this Friday. I can't believe it's the first week of August already. Um, my my son and my grandson go back to school on the 17th, 17th here in Texas, but there are a lot of people that are already have already started, <laughs> have already started school. That is just crazy. Um, yes, I'm, I use craft sticks for the frame. I show everything in part one. And thank you to sweet friends who are answering any question. Uh, I do appreciate that. If y'all know the answer, thank you so much. Because I'm a one-woman show. 
<laughs> and so I do appreciate my um, friends that are that see someone's question and answer it so I just added some doodling to my pumpkins this is going to be hanging in my home so um, like I said if I were to be selling this or if I were to go to give this as a gift I would get my husband to cut this out of wood or something like that okay all right so then I'm just using some buttermilk paint and my detailing brush it's just a, a loved brush that I have had for many years and I just like to add just some highlight some you know just I just really feel that it just really brings your project to life um, one of my sayings is the beauty is in the details and so I love the details and so uh, you know if this is not your jam if that's not your thing then you know if you if you don't like this then less is more but the majority of my friends who do watch my videos love the country look love the primitive country look or the rustic country look however whatever, however you want to say it and so I am so appreciative to those friends who love this look like I do I just I love it so much I had a comment I get these comments uh, you know every once in a while but it's like your your painting looks like something that I saw in the 80s mm, yep <laughs> in the 90s and stuff like that because I don't know I just I love it and so my uh, earlier someone had asked about um, suggestion of how to uh, you know what to do for a crafty channel my, my my first thing is be yourself be true to you do there is nobody else like you and no other crafter like you you know what you can offer um, so that's how I like to do my my painting and so what I did is I just shaded it with my black I like the black look but you can shade in brown or or a darker orange or something like that you can use whatever color of orange that you like and make it your own another thing that I love to do is my black splatters and so I need to get a little bit more I need to cover my table a little bit more because paint splattering is messy it's a very messy and I get it everywhere So, so first I doodled with my, someone was asking about the doodling. I doodled with my fine Sharpie marker first, and then I go back and use my ultra fine Sharpie marker. I just do it very light. I just went very light with the ultra fine. I do the... I do two on my pumpkins I did two I did the fine and I did the ultra fine and you can just get these at Walmart and then I use my buttermilk paint for the um, for the highlight yes 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 okay so um, you know paint flicking paint I just call it paint splattering uh, people have different ways that they do it I use a stencil brush and my stick a lot of people use an old tooth uh, toothbrush some people use their fingers so you just have to figure out what works for you if that's something that you like to do And then I'll go back. Oops, I don't want. I didn't want to do that. I usually use a separate brush because then I do that. I get the black paint in my lighter color. Um, so I use a separate brush and a separate stick. All right. So I just go over and I just take the stick across the bristles. And then it projects onto whatever I'm paint splattering. So this is how I paint splatter. Make I make sure that I cover my area because paint splattering is messy and it goes everywhere. All right. So I'm going to put this to the side so it can dry. 
<laughs> All right. So then again, this is a 12 by 16 canvas that I just um, used paint sticks with antique wax to make the frame. I just cut them with my scissors and uh, for dimension, I'm going to use some of these tumbling tower blocks that I got from five below, five below. And I'm not going to worry about, like I said, this is just going to be hanging in my home. I'm not selling it. I am not, you know, giving it as a gift or anything like that. So I'm not really worried about it. I like to do videos and, uh, share I for ideas for if you want to, do it yourself or if you want to uh, make it as a gift you're more than welcome to do that um, if you do I love when people share things over in my country charm crafty community and um, you know so that I can brag on you and tell you what a great job you did and and tell you how much better it is looks yours looks than mine anyway so I just added some dimension because that is going to uh, be where I'm going to be putting my pumpkins um, for dimension but I wanted to get these on because I want to add a few more things before I glue them because they need it to dry <clears throat> And I wanted to add some more things down here. So let me see. Because I didn't want to. Let's see, I have to move that down a little bit like that. Okay. All right. That, that got a little close, but that's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I have plenty. I'll just use another one of these. Yeah. I used one too many. Okay, so then, um, hi Misty. Hello, my sweet friend. Hey Terry, thanks so much. Um, not sure. Uh, they are tumbling tower blocks. I got this big pack from Five Below. That is what I'm using. Um, these little wood blocks. They're called tumbling tower blocks. And then this Excelsior I got from Walmart, not Walmart, uh, Hobby Lobby. I love the fine Excelsior and of course, especially on my rustic country projects. <gasps> yes, it is my heart and soul. So I'm just gluing that down there. Just going to put this here, be a little whimsy. So earlier I had started the project so if you're just coming on if you're just if you didn't see my part one it was my segment for craft around the clock and so I started the project but we only have 45 minutes to craft and so I knew that I would not finish my craft so I had said from the very beginning hey I'm gonna have to do a part two so you're watching part two now um, but to see how I put all of the uh, how I made the frame and like tips of what I do to make sure that I get all of my uh, you know my little craft sticks on there correctly I'll give you all of those tips in part one uh, of the video why is cellophane paper so loud <laughs> it's so loud Okay, it doesn't take long for this cardboard to dry at all. So then this is how our little uh, arrangement is looking. I know that this, this, but that, it, I have that just for dimension, just for dimension. So I'm gonna bring this back here because I always, even if I'm using cardboard, 
Hi, Lisa. So, welcome. Hello. Thank you all for being here. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tracy. I craft here at Country Charm by Tracy. You can find me on Facebook as well as YouTube. Um, you can just type in my name, Tracy Wellman, or Country Charm by Tracy, and I'll pull up. And so I do a lot of pre recorded videos, and then also I do some uh craft and chats and i call my i call these segments craft these craft and chat se segments because um it's when i craft real time and you know i do a craft with y'all and then i show you if i run into an issue then i show you how i did it how i fixed it all right so then I hope this is dry enough. So this is the, I get questions about this a lot. This is my favorite varnish that I like to use on my paint it projects um, that I use the black Sharpie marker. You can just get this in the craft store. This is, I like the glossy look. Uh, and then I'm going to show you another that I like to use if um, I use the Posca paint markers that are a paint pen that can smear. Um, I'm going to show you real quick which one I like to use for that. Move this chair out of the way. My. So if I use a Posca paint marker like this, I will use this sealer right here. It's a spray sealer because this is a paint pen and it will smear. But for these, I just used my black Sharpie marker and I don't have too many problems with it smearing. Okay, so like I said, the reason that I'm using cardboard is because I wanted to do this project, and, or when I thought about it, um, it was too late to get my husband to cut it out of wood, so I'm just using what I had. So I just wanted to uh, encourage you, look, you can make beautiful pumpkins out of Lucky Charms box. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. And in part one of the video, um, I show you how I made the pattern, how I tore it, and all of that stuff. So once this is dried, then I'm going to go back and uh, define the edges a little bit more with my Distress Ink because that's what I like to do. This is the varnish. If you want to take a screenshot real quick, you can get it off of Amazon or you can get it in the craft store. There is a link for my link tree and it is in, listed in my Amazon store if you want to have it shipped to you. Okay, there you go. All righty. I'll be honest with you guys. The keeps like Facebook would let me go live then he keeps like pulling my um, microphone off of me and making me you know have to get it but he is not gonna win because when the Lord is on our side he will never win he will never win okay so I'm just kind of waiting for this to dry and just it just dries really good okay I'm probably going to put a hanger on it too so this was my thought is this one is going to go here this one's going to go here um I might need to bring this out a little bit more and excelsior if you're not familiar with excelsior it's just kind of like spanish moss i like the lighter color and i like the finer more thin excelsior 
so I want it and it almost kind of looks like hay a little bit okay so then while that is drying up all the way I have some fun things here that we're going to be making for the top all righty so this burlap came from the Dollar Tree So Lisa's asking, do you varnish everything? I varnish, yes, all of my painted projects, I almost always varnish. And if I use the black Sharpie marker, I use this varnish. But if I use the Posca paint pen or a liquid marker that will smear, I use this varnish right here. This is the varnish that I use. And I get this one at Michael's. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that. I get this one at Michael's. <clears throat> All righty. Okay, so then we want to cut some burlap. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, for the stem of my pumpkin, what I used is just some milk chocolate brown Americana paint. Whatever color you want yourself. Um, but that is just my preference. So Terry is asking, is the varnish good for outdoor crafts in the weather? Yes, if it, um, cause this is a water, the one that I showed you is a water-based varnish. And so uh, if you have an oil-based varnish, it will tend to smear, not smear, it will tend to yellow. And so I have been using that varnish for many, many years, many years. And, um, you know, you know, like when I was doing craft shows and people would say, um, how does this, can I put this out in the weather? My recommendation of everything that I would always tell, um, people is <clears throat> anything that you put out into the weather elements are eventually going to show wear. They're going to show wear and tear. And, you know, so... Uh, yes, I, I use that varnish for anything that I put outside because um, it's a water-based varnish. That's the thing. You have to find a water-based varnish. Okay, so I kind of just put my little burlap on there like that. All right. So I just want to kind of share just what you can do if you don't have uh an option for a wood cutter or something like that you can just get you some recycled cardboard paint you up some cute pumpkins or cute something this burlap came from the Dollar Tree and I am just going to just kind of twirl it around so it kind of covers it up I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to kind of just be, you know, whimsical and rustic. And so um, sometimes FB doesn't show, uh, show us all the comments, but I will go back later, read all the comments, uh, answer any questions that I, I may have missed. So um, I, for this project right here, since it's cardboard, I am going to be hanging this inside my home. I would not, I, I would not put this outside only because of the material that it's made out of. And I just like to varnish. I like the glossy look the, uh, for this varnish. They also, this is the glossy. They also have a satin and a matte, but uh, just to, you just as the crafter, you have to figure out what, you like what kind of like you look <laughs> what kind of look you like and then okay so i think that this is all mostly dry get a new 
I just like these little finger daubers. And so then, I know it may the camera may not pick it up, but um, I am just going back over and just kind of distressing the edges. And my burlap from my Lucky Charms, my Lucky Charms box. If you're just popping on, you're like, what? You made pumpkins out of Lucky Charm box? Yes, I did. And so that's the beauty in watching, you know, crafters, you know, you, it, it's just, I like to give ideas, just give inspiration. You do what you want to do and make it your own. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> this, this little piece of burlap is just really not acting correct. I guess I'm not giving it time to dry. Okay. Oh goodness. This is coming together so good. All right. So I finally found some of this, uh, ribbon at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Uh, a couple weeks, no, last weekend, my husband and I went to Fort Worth for a, uh, for re the refab live event. And so on the way home, I said, I want to stop at the Dollar Tree. And uh, he already knows, you know, he doesn't say, well, we got a Dollar Tree, you know, in, in our hometown, because he already knows that, you know, I can find different things at different Dollar Trees. So he's just sweet and goes with me and all of that stuff. All right. <clears throat> so then also I have some of this, these green foliage. I think I got these at uh, Hobby Lobby. I think I did either Hobby Lobby or Joann's. I can't exactly remember but I'm going to use some of this. I just had it in my, uh, in my greenery box. So I said, that'll be really cute. I just love adding all of the different, uh, textures and everything like that. So Lisa's asking, do you, you, no, I do not use water pens. I only use paint brushes. I only use paint brushes to paint or to hand letter uh, as but I there I will use my Posca paint pen to hand letter as well or my black sharpie marker but as far as like water brushes no I don't I don't use any of that okay so then I just want to take some of this greenery and just kind of twist it it's like wire and it has Yes, um, this is part two of uh, finishing my sign. Thank you, Miss Terry, for answering the question. Uh, if you want to see the first uh, part one is the previous video on my page. And uh, I show you how I uh, design the pumpkins and out of a Lucky Charms box. And I'm just doing some recycling. Uh, I would have had my husband cut these out of wood, but yeah, I didn't decide I was going to do it till about an hour before my craft around the clock segment this morning. So I did what I had available. Okay. So then also, let me see, maybe I don't want to use this. Maybe I want to use this one. Hmm. I don't know. I also got this, this color at the Dollar Tree. Um, it's just, you can just put so much to decorating these types of things. And just make it look so cute okay so let's see how I'm going let me move this out of the way all right and so then I know I want to put since this is going to be inside I know I'm, I want to make a muslin bow so I just have just some muslin fabric that I have torn into strips and I should have pulled in some homespun fabric, but it's in the other room, so I'm not gonna go get it. Um, but you can just be creative when you are making it these little bows like this. And I just cut them into like, I don't know, a half or an inch strips, and I just rip them because 
I want, um, I like the ragged, jagged edge. I really do. So I can just really piddle with this stuff all day long. <laughs> I really can. You know, just like, oh, I, I like this one. Oh, and then I like this one. And then I might pull in some lace and some different trims and stuff. But, uh, you know, you can make it however you like. All right. So then I have this, this one. All right, and this fabric is actually this color, um, but I have, if I like, um, if I want a more tea stained or coffee stained fabric, I will get just a little bit of instant coffee and then just soak my fabric for uh, a little bit. I don't know, depending on how dark you want it will depend on how long you leave it in there. I don't know two or three, four minutes, five minutes, depending. And then um, I just let my air, my fabric air dry, but I know that there are a lot of friends that put theirs in the oven on a very low, like 150 or 175, something like that. And then they um, bake it for it, but you have to keep an eye on it because you don't want to catch the fabric on fire. That would not be good all right so then I am just going to put this like this move this out of the way and these little things are stringy but this I don't know this just brings me joy just doing this just layering everything See, I'm gonna put this one on here. And then I guess this just kind of brings in the greenery for, you know, for the pumpkins, kind of brings in the greenery. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just kind of doing this. I don't know if you can, I haven't even looked to see if you can find this uh, this stuff on Dollar Tree website this netted looking netted looking ribbon I guess that's what you call it netted netting I don't know it just looks kind of whimsical so I just tied that like that and then I just tied it with a piece of the um, muslin fabric and then it's going to all tie in there together Pam says she's laughing at herself she was wondering why I didn't doodle the stems that's right because I put that burlap on there now if I would have left them without uh, any if I didn't put burlap on there yes I definitely would have doodled the stems okay and so then once I get you know kind of my ribbon then because um, some I like the torn edge but sometimes the fabric is a little too thin to tear it just ends up being frustrating I'll just take my pinking shears scissors and just kind of trim off that so that it doesn't have that just solid cut edge it has it gives it more of a decorative edge So if you want to see part one of um, how I did the video, how I did the video of how I did the pumpkins, that's in part one, that's in the previous, um, previous video. 
I just recycled um, a, a giant, it was the giant size, the, I'm just gonna take another, because I should have tied on, I should have incorporated the leaves, the leaf, the leaves, the wire, so, and I didn't, so I'm just trim that off. Here we go, all right. <clears throat> my goodness I'm like picking everything up you know doing these videos like this it's a little bit harder than what it may look on that side of the camera uh, because I I love doing it because I get to you get to see how I do things in real time versus just pre-recorded uh, and so but today the enemy is really on me he has been he's just I don't know trying to steal my joy and I'm not gonna let him so I just kind of put the little stem on there and then I may trim that down but sometimes I you know I can never put more on it but I can trim it down if I need to so let me see if I can get this knot out oh yeah there we go that worked out good So if you're new to my page, my name is Tracy. I love to craft like this, uh, share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm. And, uh, you know, I share for inspiration and ideas. You can recreate it, make it your own, do your own thing, whatever. Uh, it's very nice when, you know, uh, people do give credit to wherever they've seen the inspiration. But, um no, I try to do that. I try to live by that, but not everybody does. And I'm not saying you don't. I'm just saying, you know, if you do, give me a shout out. I appreciate that. I may feature you on my page, on my main page, because I do appreciate that. All right, so that's what we're going to do for those. And then, you know, like I said, I can piddle paddle. I can piddle paddle all day long on all of this stuff. So just to review real quick, in part one, I show you how I created these pumpkins out of a Lunky Charm box. Yes, that is what I'm doing. You can totally recreate these out of wood, and which I would have if I would have had my woodcutter here, but he is at work. <laughs> He's at work. Uh, this is a 12 by 16 frame, a canvas. I just gave it some color just with my antique wax, and I also used some... Um, craft sticks I just cut them down just to make like the frame and so then that is going to be my how we're going to put on our pumpkins yes and I just used some excelsior down here and um, this is just going to be hanging in my home um, for the season but you could definitely you know recreate it for for some sort you know like if you want to sell it or something like that okay let's see just for time purposes I'm just gonna glue everything down and so let me start here I might have to do it in sections because so that it kind of glues down Just kind of gluing that down right there. The uh, wooden blocks that I'm using are from Five Below. The Tumbling Tower blocks from Five Below. They're uh, five dollars, or they were. I don't know. They may have gone up in price. Um, I don't know, but I got it at Five Below. At Five Below. So I put those on there for some dimension. That's what I did. Put those on there for dimension. So then, I don't know. I need to put a little bit more. Uh, I need to put some more Excelsior. Because it's not sticking out as much as I wanted it to. So 
So this is just an idea if you want to, you know, not spend a whole lot of money and you want to recycle in the process. This is just a great way to recycle and, you know, do a trash to treasure craft that looks like you bought it at a craft show or a craft, um, not boutique, but craft store or something like that. And so I just like the little, uh, my first thought I was going to, or when I planned this, I was going to put a little fence on there, but I don't know. I may not put the fence on. I may leave it just like that. I may put a little sign on there. Not sure. That's the beauty in crafting. We can just do all kind of fun things. All kind of fun things. Okay. Yeah. I need to put a little bit more Excelsior on there. And so I already saw that I got my tumbling tower block up here a little bit too high. So I'm going to fix that by just putting a little bit of Excelsior up there and uh, making that look really cute like that. That's what we're going to do, yes. Because in crafting, you're going to make mistakes. What's the thing that Bob Ross says? happy accidents or something like that. So I'm just going to put some Excelsior under there, just like that little bit of WMC. Bring this up here like this. Cover that up like that. So in part one, I show how I uh, did all of the, um, you know, did the 12 by 16 sign, how I pulled uh, the box, how I made the pattern. And so I'm just using Excelsior because that's my thing. I, I just like the wimpsy look of it. It's messy and i just like it looks a little a little wimpsy pull all of that out like that it's going to go there like that So, like I said, I just share for ideas and inspiration. Uh, you know, you can, you as the crafter can always, um, you know, change it up, do things you want to do. And so my first thought is I found these white picket fence are already like that. These are the Woodpile brand. It's four picket fence they're nine inches by 4.25 and i found these at hobby lobby that's the woodpile brand they're already painted white and i was going to put it you know put it like this but i don't think i am but i just wanted to share that um because that was kind of like my first thought sometimes i just kind of roll with it and just kind of the flow of it of what i'm gonna do and so I have some of these pit berries that I got also from Hobby Lobby. Let me see. <clears throat> they were kind of uh, stuck up underneath there. I may add some pit berries to that. To my bow. I love pit berries. Yep, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some pit berries. 
add some pit berries. You know, sometimes um, that's just what I do. I just kind of build my, I just kind of build my um, projects as I go along. I just kind of build my projects, you know, as I go along. So I may put some pit berries on there like that attach that I'll glue everything down with you know with my my e6000 or my glue anyway but just for right now just for right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack my bow because I do appreciate you hanging out with me so so long today for part one and part two it was my craft round the clock segment, which we only have uh, 45 minutes to craft because then the next crafter comes on. If you're not familiar with craft round the clock, it is a free group that you can um, see 24 seven crafter, 24 seven crafting, 24 seven, either replay or life guys anyway so this is my craft today <laughs> this is my craft today and you know as I as I was kind of pulling up you can kind of see the glossiness of it y'all I love this I do I love this and guys this is trash to treasure the pumpkins are trash to treasure recycled cardboard <laughs> that I painted some pumpkins and so uh, you know the bows you could just I might need to trim those off a little bit. I like them a little bit different length. I Hope you do too. I think I'm gonna add some pit berries on there because I love the pit berries um, But anyway, I do appreciate you hanging out with me and sharing uh, You know, I'll go back and answer any questions that I may have missed uh, and uh, you know just acknowledge that you were here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for part one and part two, you know, of this craft. Anyway, y'all have a great day. We will see y'all soon. And uh, God bless you. Have a great weekend. See y'all next time. Bye, guys.